Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here, and I know I have not done a video in a while. I know I was supposed to do one, I think it was on Wednesday, and then another one on Sunday. Um, I'm just going to be straightforward with you guys, tell you what's going on, and then I'll go into the weight loss stuff, because this is Weight Loss Friday. Um, basically, I think I'm getting burnt out on YouTube. Now, I've been doing this for 11 years, so coming up with new content and not be and, and not reading books i can't really do reviews because i've been in a reading slump really bad um and not knowing what to film and not being passionate about filming anymore um just because i was on the schedule i was doing it every single week um i think what i'm gonna do and i know this may not get me a lot of subscribers people may um unsubscribe but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, film my Weight Loss Fridays, which will be uploaded on Saturday. But I'll still call them Weight Loss Fridays because it's filmed on Friday. Um, and then if you do get videos from me, it will be whenever I post. So um, like if I have a book haul or if I have, which I actually need to f film my book haul. Um, if I have a book haul or if I have just a package from Amazon or a Shein haul. Um, or just come on here to talk about random stuff. Um, that's when you'll get a video. I was thinking about doing a chit chat Tuesday. Um, where I can just sit here and chat to you guys about something that's on my mind. Um, and you guys can respond back in the comments because I can't go live yet. Because I don't have a laptop. Um, I think that will be really cool. Um, but it would be technically uploaded on Wednesday because I'd be doing the chit chat Tuesday on Tuesday and then we uploaded on Wednesday at 12 because I always do my uploads at 12 at 12 uh, p.m. So I'm thinking that's probably what I will do. So you will get a chit chat Tuesday, which will be uploaded on Wednesday, and then you get a weight loss Friday, which will be uploaded on Saturday. And then any other videos throughout the week that I want to film because I just I don't want to keep myself so like in a schedule and making it not fun for me to do anymore because again I've been doing this for 11 years so it's a lot and I'm really trying to learn to let myself let myself go not be um what's the word I want to say not be too hard on myself um and just go with the flow um because I felt like if I didn't post a video for you guys, I was a failure. And you guys were, I'm going to unsubscribe. And it was just, it was, it was bad. But then I looked at what was going on in, my, in the YouTube and how I felt about it. And I come to, you know, I come to the conclusion that I told you guys. Um, you'll see different filming locations. Right now I'm filming in my bedroom because the AC is on. I don't want you guys to hear this because it's kind of loud. Um... But I'll be filming all over the house, you know, different things. I do want to do, like, a bookshelf tour for you guys, maybe. Um, but i got to, like, clean my bookcases because they're a mess right now. Um, I also want to do, like, an apartment tour for you guys. Um, and maybe some cooking videos. I don't know. I'm not making any promises, so we'll see. Now, um, on to the weight loss. As you guys know, the, my cat has passed away, and I am grateful that one, she's not in pain anymore, but two, I'm very proud of myself because I didn't turn to food to cope with how I was feeling. And if you guys know me and have followed me for a while, you do know that food is a big problem for me. I go to it when I'm happy, sad, depressed, whatever. So I have, I, I didn't do it this time. And I really evaluated how I feel about food, how I connect food to myself. And I really learned a, a lot this week, I do want to say. Um, and I, as you guys know, I think I told you, I'm on Provera to start my cycles to try to have kids again um, and get all that straightened out. Because I haven't had a period, TMI, and since last February. So kind of have to have that so I don't get any cancer or anything bad happens. So taking that medicine has really 
I don't know if it's because of that or what it, or what it is, but it's changed the way I think about food. Um, it made me ha- lose my appetite um, to the point where I would just eat, you know, whenever I felt like it. Um, I would make food and I wouldn't eat or I'd only eat a little bit of it. And I don't know, if, again, if that was that. If it was be- because of the Provera or what it was. But I ended up taking whatever was going on because I don't know what happened you know what it was what medication it was I don't know and I ended up looking at the way that I look at food and I have now started fasting I think I've been successfully fasting for a week now um I stop eating at eight and I do not eat again until 12 um and if I do want a snack this is what my Weight Watcher lady has said many years when I when I was in Weight Watchers before she said, if you are hungry, would you eat a can of like green beans, corn, whatever, beans? If you say yes, then you're hungry. If you say no, you're just eating because you're bored. And I made it my mission, I guess, uh, to not eat when I'm bored, to not eat when I'm sad, to only eat like, you know, lunch, dinner, maybe a snack. But... I have really changed my relationship with food. Um, I don't know how this happened, I don't know, but this is the kick that I needed. Um, I think hearing about my high cholesterol and it being very high made me very worried. Um, and so that kind of kicked my butt too. I'm still trying to be, be more active. That's one thing I really need to improve on. Um, the food I have down, but the activity, I, I don't like to hot, be hot in the summer. so trying to find different ways to do things um like in a little bit we're going to go for a walk with the dog but i just i'm I'm, i have a really good relationship with food now i realize that food is always going to be there it doesn't matter if it's a celebration or if i'm sad if i eat my feelings i'm going to feel worse afterwards um and i just really need to just eat to survive to live and not live to eat which is what I was doing in the past and I don't know if you guys can tell I can definitely tell it in my face um my face is like the first thing that I lose weight on which is really weird um so I do notice that I have like a little bit slimmed down right here and that is because I got my five pound charm today technically since I joined Weight Watchers which was June, uh, what's what are we in May? So I think I joined May first. I think um, I lost a total of seven pounds, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, I really wanted to work towards getting them that five pounds, and I did. Like I said, I haven't really been eating. I have a great relationship with food now, um, and I'm super excited and. I only need a couple more pounds to get a 10 pound charm and I think I can do it. I really think I can do it. Um, I actually have to update my weight thing um, because I actually get a reward I think at 5 pounds, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just super grateful that I have finally had a good relationship with food now. Um, and the lesson that we had today at Weight Watchers was to not be so hard on ourselves because we can be the worst critics to ourselves. We say the worst things to ourselves. Um, And that's true. And I've learned a lot about self-love, a lot of, you know, loving my body the way that it is right now because it's a work in progress. Um, But it does, my my body takes care of me. It brings me places. I breathe, I have my heart, lungs, all that stuff, you know, is all part of my body. So I am grateful for my body. Um, So I'm really doing a lot of self-love stuff. Um, And on a side note, I knew somebody um, commented and said they wanted an updated um, iPhone tour. I will definitely get that out for you. Probably film it probably tomorrow. So it will be up maybe Sunday or Monday. Um... But I'll definitely get that out for you. I love to do requests for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful that this weight loss is happening. And I think another thing of reason why it's happening and why I'm, it's actu- I'm actually doing good 
is because one, I'm not strict on myself because I would always be so strict. I'm not strict on myself. Some days I track, some days I don't track, but I don't eat bad either. The, the, the days that I don't track. Um, the weekends, I don't track at all. I feel like that's like my cheat weekend, so I don't track. But I don't, again, I don't eat, you know, crazy. Um, and another thing that's helped me is I half everything I eat. Like if I have, instead of having two Hot Pockets, I'll have one Hot Pocket. Instead of having like a one steak, I'll cut it in half and have, you know, and I'll have that one half. Um, so I've been halving a lot of my food, which is helping a lot. Um, and another thing, I think a key component of what's going on, how everything is, you know, coming together is back when I joined Weight Watchers a long time ago. Um, and anytime I tried to lose weight, like keto, all that stuff, um, I always did it for the wrong reasons. I always did, not really wrong reasons, but I did it because I wanted to have a baby and I was so focused on just having a baby. I didn't care about anything else. I put myself in stressful situations. I made it so that I could not fail. And if I did, it would be like 10 times worse for me. And it was just so stressful. So now I've taken the baby stuff off the table and I'm losing weight to get healthy. If a baby does come out of it, I'll be 100% happy. But my main focus right now is my weight loss and getting healthy. And I think that's what's really helped a lot is not being so hard on myself. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, I am reading a book. So I just wanted to tell you guys that too. Um, I am reading Dial A for Aunties. This is a sneak peek because this is what I, one of the books I got from Amazon. Um, this book is hilarious. Um, I have been in such a reading slump. I read a couple mangas and then I was just in such a reading slump and I don't know what was going on. I'm on page 82 and I started this yesterday. It's so good. Um, basically it's about these three generations of immigrant Chinese Indonesian family and four meddling aunts that come to the rescue. Basically, without spoiling too much, um, it says that on the back. Madeline Chan ends up accidentally killing her blind date. She calls the aunties and the aunties are trying to bury this body and it's just it's so funny of what happened. I was laughing and it's just it's such a good book. Definitely pick it up if you haven't. Um, I know Amazon has it for 10. I think Target has it for 10. Um, definitely pick it up because it's so funny and I hope this author writes more stuff because this is just such a good book. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I'm going to go get ready, take my dog for a walk, and I will be back with you guys on Tuesday um, for Chit Chat Tuesday, which again will be uploaded on Wednesday. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you guys have a good weekend, a good Memorial Day. I'm not doing anything, but I hope you guys have a good Memorial Day. Stay safe. Um, wear your masks. I know the mask mandate is here. Um... We don't have to wear them come the 28th if you're fully vaccinated in some places. Like if you have to ride the bus, you have to wear it. Certain stores, Weight Watchers, you have to wear it. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know how comfortable I feel not wearing my, my mask right now. I, I don't know. Um, so life is getting back to normal, which I will talk about that too because that's a lot of anxiety. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people have had this where I'll, I'll talk about it in Chit Chat Tuesday. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Remember to be kind and sweet to yourself, guys. Do not be hard on yourself. And like I always say, make love and love rocks so we can each other. Bye, guys.